Okay, so we're starting this video in Charleston because I was there for a few days to visit Ellie and Aaron. I flew in super early on Saturday, so we had the full day. We started at a pumpkin patch and then caught up for the rest of the day and ended the night having dinner with friends and then going out and getting a couple drinks, which was so fun to just have the full day to catch up. And then Sunday morning, we got up, we got some flowers and some groceries at Trader Joe's. These were mini pumpkin trees, which I thought was so cute and so interesting. So I do recommend going to your Trader Joe's and seeing if they have them at yours. <laughs> but then yeah, we played some pickleball and ended the night getting ready to go to Cookbook Club, which I will explain in the next clip. Um, I'm in Charleston right now. Hi guys. I got here yesterday. And right now we're going over to Franny's house to have, what, what are we calling it? Cookbook, Cookbook Club. Club. Cookbook Club, which Aaron organized. All made a meal. Hummus. A really intricate hummus with pita bread. Aaron's making, uh, has white sangria. Sangria that's not made yet, but it's almost ready. And then I, um, we all went to Trader Joe's today and got our stuff, but I got spiced cider, so we're gonna warm this up and add fireball in it, mm -hmm. <laughs> and then cinnamon sticks. So, that was it. some cute Halloween houses. We did. There is some perfect houses. Look at right behind us. Perfect in example. That shop. We're about to go to the airport. We planned Ellie's birthday. I'll be back here in two weeks. Literally two weeks. That's I'm so excited. Me. It's always us doing far too effing much for birthdays. No, right? It's, an, it's like an excuse to just hang out with our friends yeah. and have fun. It's so fun. It's always my favorite memory. Especially too. since it's like everyone lives different places. Yeah. Like, and Hannah always executes by filming it because I get, um, I like don't do that part. It's really pretty. Yeah, now we're forced out. This is called a fourth shot. This is what we call the fourth shot. The fourth shot is when you, you're you done. Wait. So yeah, that was a little bit of Monday. My flight was around 7 p.m. So we got some work done. At the end, we got to go on that walk, see the Halloween houses, and we both got pictures that we liked for our stuff. Like I got Starlight pictures, made sure we got Ellie's pictures done, and then said goodbye, which I had the best time. I always have the best time. And Nolan recommended this direct flight to DC right from Charleston. So I took that and it was like an hour flight. I read my book and then I landed in DC. In the airport, the perks of having a pilot best friend. He just tapped me on the shoulder. He goes, "Yo, I go, oh, hey, guys. Okay, we need to like explain what's happening when we get back to your house." No one moved to DC. Long story short. <laughs> Do you want to explain why you're here now? Yeah, I like work here now. Mm -hmm. So I got an apartment here. Nolan is officially a pilot and he's based out of Dulles Airport. I am. And yeah, it is 10 a.m. and the furniture, well, it's just about to be 10 a.m. and the furniture stores are opening. So we're going to go look we're at couches. Get Let's get it. We'll show you a before of the boxes too. Yeah, before and after transition. Welcome home. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a couch, kind of like right in here. This is the remains from my old apartment that still needs to be put away, slash clothes gone through and donated. This right here is like shelves that I need to figure out what to do with. These are gonna be full of knickknacks and fun stuff. I don't really know yet, but we'll figure it out. And over here, we have the kitchen where I'm going to be hopefully chefing it up. We're making a dish together. 
Yeah, we're gonna make uh, breakfast tomorrow morning, so stay, stay tuned. tuned <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be exciting. <laughs> um, this right here is a very exciting feature that I never had before. Mm -hmm. Dishwasher, mm -hmm. no more hand washing all of my dishes. Another very exciting feature about this apartment. Oh, don't mind the trash section over here. I had now am the proud owner of <laughs> a washer and dryer. Yes. So I don't have to drive an hour to mom and dad's house to go do laundry anymore. Love it. Kind of sick, right? And then the last stop on our tour is this bathroom. I've unloaded my stuff. <laughs> yeah, she's like moved in. I'm moving in. <laughs> and that's it. I gotta put my shower, my like actual shower curtain up yet, but. It's awesome. And that's the tour, that's it. It's Could you want to transition us to going to get furniture? Okay, let's go. <laughs> So right from the train, we were walking around. It was the most beautiful day and I was just so happy. I got to see two of my best friends in the same week and spend such good quality time with them and then also do such cool things in a new city. So yeah, these were some of the clips I got at the National American History Museum. It was so fun. Like I had so much fun walking around with him, talking. We got a beer after at this restaurant our friend recommended and then we walked to the Capitol. We were just having a great day and it ended with watching the most beautiful sunset. Um, we have been making the French toast recipe that we said we were gonna make. We're about to put that in the oven. French toast has to sit for like an hour. So, so while that was sitting, we went shopping to Sephora and J. Crew. Got some good skincare stuff. I really wanted to try this full set. The Sol de Janeiro body oil, body scrub. I look like a mess. So we're gonna shower, eat the French toast. All right, you guys teach me how to do this. So. We wanted to set Nolan up for success, right? He's moving to the new area. What better way than to get some skincare into his life? We're about to have like a routine. If there's one way to make your life feel put together, it's skincare <laughs> routine. I'm like pulling up the sleeve. I'm like, let's go. By the way, I used every single thing in that package in my shower and it was great. It was great. So far, so good. Okay. So but where do we start? What I recommended him was the CEO Sunday Riley because I've used this a bit and it has vitamin C in the moisturizer. He doesn't use moisturizer. So this will be a good addition. And then the nice lady at the Sephora store, not lady, she's our age, Liv. Nice girl. girl. Nice girl. Um, she helped us pick out this sunscreen that he can add into the moisturizer. And then and protect that skin. Yes, because you also were saying um, skin. Oh yeah, like a lot of pilots get like cancer because you're so much closer to the sun and like the radiation is worse up there. So yeah. hopefully that'll help. The SPF. I also recommended him the tanning drops. I got him the light one. I use, this is the one I use now, look. I've had this, look at how low, like it's so high, I've had it for like months. Yeah. I use the medium face tanning drops. I thought since he's never used it before and he doesn't know if he'll like the tanning drops, we'll use the light ones. Yeah. So, let's get into it. Put a little bit of, a scoop a little bit under your hand, okay? That, now mix that all in and just rub it on your face because it'll blend nice down to your yeah. neck. Am I glowing? You are, let me see. You look like more like moisturized. You think I have color? Don't you think? Can you see it now that you have moisturizer on? Yeah, I just, I look healthier. Yeah. I can't wait, do you want to try my eye cream now? How does that work? So I wanted to get the old Hendrickson uh, Banana Bright Vitamin C stick for your under eyes. 
And people say that they use this as a concealer too, but it's like this, this. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna do, cause it looks better, huh? Mm -hmm. Are you excited? Yeah, get into that. All right, your first homemade meal. Good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really good actually. What do you think? It's good. I think we should've got a different bread, low key, something thicker. Noted. We're on our way to the city, finally. A little behind, but. A little behind schedule, it's okay. Who would have thought? <laughs> right? Not with me. Nolan and I made it to the room. We're very hungry, so we're gonna go, um... Go get a snack. Wow. Cool. This is sweet. Oh. Ooh. Look at this vault. Whoa. Wow. So we walked around a bit more. Nolan was very sweet and helped me take some pictures for Starlight since that heart pendant I'm wearing is launching today. Then we had a glass of Prosecco at our hotel bar and then walked over to Haleo, which is a super popular DC restaurant. They had Spanish tapas and it was incredible. If you're ever in DC, please go, it was so good. And then we went to this place called Doyle just to check it out, have another drink, hung out there. And then we ended up back at our hotel because they have this really cool bar lounge called Silver Lion. And it was so cool in there, had one more drink and then we went to bed. All right, hello, it is Thursday morning. This morning we're checking out and then we're just gonna have a full museum day. Starting with the art museum. So we're gonna get some coffee and go there first. This is my outfit for the day. I'm wearing the same thing. Pants are actually from Banana Republic. This is a shirt I got from With Jean and I just like love the cut of it. I wear it with almost everything. Yeah, same necklace, earrings. These, this should be out on Starlight now. So the pendant is available on Starlight. I am going to link that on my outfits, skincare stuff in the description if you were interested in any of that. But we went to a breakfast spot I found on Yelp. And then right from there, we headed to the National Portrait Gallery and American Art Museum. But it was beautiful. <laughs> And then after that, we went over to the Library of Congress, which was so, so stunning. And we walked around there for a minute. There was a beautiful view of the Capitol as well. And we last minute signed up for a Capitol tour. Wore our headsets and then walked around with the tour guide. We also were going to try and view the house floor, but we ran out of time and we're hungry. So we got some food and then we're headed back to Nolan's house. We had a great last day together and Friday morning, I was up early on my way back to Michigan at 9 a.m. And from there, I went up north with Jenny and a whole bunch of other friends to celebrate her 23rd. So yeah, it was a full week with friends and I feel very, very lucky that I got to spend such good time with Ellie, Nolan, and then be in Michigan with Jenny for her birthday. So yeah, I feel very blessed. But if you guys watched all the way to the end, thank you for watching. And I will see you very soon with another video. I have bows in my hair. And they're the my new thing I'm not gonna shut up about for a couple weeks and then never wear them again. <laughs> yeah, it's like the three weeks and, and then it's over. like over, overkill everything until it's just nothing. Hey guys. Welcome to the studio. Our height difference? Um, 